This school year, the Indiana Department of Education is piloting the new iLearn through year redesign. It won't begin for everyone until next school year, but over 70% of Indiana schools are trying it out this year. The first testing window has just opened and some local students are taking the first test right now. Third through eighth graders at School City of Mishawaka are likely about to take an iLearn test. Just continue reading at home with your child, asking them what they're learning in school. The district is one of about 1,300 schools in the state that have signed on to pilot the IDOE's through year redesign of the test. School City wanted to do the ELA pilot um, because we want to be prepared for what's to come. Ali Schlofeld is the curriculum integration coordinator for the district. That means that I get to support teachers, um, principals, assistant principals, etc. in um, integrating our curriculum and also our assessments. Usually students take the huge iLearn test in the spring. By the time schools get the data and examine it, students are leaving for summer break. It's not readily available. It's not in real time. You, you spend the whole year getting students ready and then you get it at this small chunk at the end of the year. And then you don't even get that data until after you don't see those students anymore. The idea behind this iLearn redesign and move to a through year testing schedule is that schools and teachers will be able to get data back on students with enough time to help them grow and learn. In order to begin to redesign iLearn, um, we do have to have board approval. That's a state board education meeting last year. Indiana updated its academic standards in 2023. State law now requires the IDOE to realign the iLearn to reflect that. The iLearn is Indiana's big assessment, primarily measuring students in grades three through eight on ELA and math. Statewide, the percentage of students who score proficient and above proficient is low. This past spring, just 41% of students in the state were proficient in ELA, and only 40% were proficient in math. Currently, educators and families are provided student scores at the end of the school year. For an educator, it may be too late to target specific students as they are moving on to the next grade level. In July, the IDOE announced 72% of the schools in the state were opting in to pilot the through year assessment for ELA or math or both. That includes several districts in our area, including South Bend, PHM and Mishawaka. Here's how it will work. Imagine this line is the school year. In the past, teachers would spend months teaching, and then in the spring, schools would administer the big iLearn test. Instead, the redesigned test breaks it up throughout the school year. There are now three checkpoint windows. Each checkpoint is 20 to 25 questions, testing kids on a variety of standards. Now, they'll still take the big iLearn test in the spring, but it will be shortened and streamlined. This way, after each checkpoint, teachers can evaluate where students are struggling and intervene throughout the school year before they get to the big spring test. That's the goal, yes. <laughs> um, I think it's easier because we're biting off smaller chunks. You're not planning and intervening and teaching for eight months and then hoping for the best on what students learned back in August. You're now able to zone in on August to November and then November to February and really zone in and get those students to where they need to be. And so hopefully overall that will show a better proficiency. Not every school and district is on board. Many schools are waiting until next school year to start administering the test throughout the year. This is a pilot year. Basically, the IDOE and schools are testing it out. There are still a lot of unknowns. On our website, I've put the IDOE guidance for parents by grade level. You can see for yourself how your child will be tested. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.